O Pono Pono. Just some words, some phrases, or is it called a mantra? A mantra means something which delivers the mind. Manas is Sanskrit for the mind, and Trayate, Traya Mantra, means to deliver. So mantra means to deliver the mind. So when we focus our mind, maybe on a thought, on an object, some experience, and you one pointed, like for now, just focus into my eyes, concentrate. By keeping up this focus, you will quieten the mind. Every time, when we don't listen to the voice, when we concentrate and focus, we quieten our mind. So a mantra is something that delivers the mind, which helps us to connect to our higher source. Originally, mantra comes from Sanskrit, so we have mantras written in certain Vedic texts, in the Bhagavad Gita, in the Vedas. We find so many mantras. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya or one of famous verse of the Bhagavad Gita, Dharma Kshetre Kuru Kshetre. So these words have a meaning. When you read them, the shlokas, these verses, it delivers, it frees the mind. And they have a certain potency. They have a meaning. Each Sanskrit word carries so much flavor, experience and meaning and depth. Yeah, so every mantra, traditionally we chant, delivers the mind. But also on a more subtle level, it purifies our whole being and it has a very deep meaning. So how can we say now Ho'oponopono is a mantra or just some phrases? Like I mentioned, the definition of mantra, it is something what delivers the mind. And the Ho'oponopono technique is ex exactly meant to free the mind. To throw away all this mental constipation, all this garbage, all the trash. To clear, to purify. And then the inspiration can kick in. Then your higher self will come to the foreground. But first we have to purify. So by repeating the words, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. We concentrate on the mantra, we focus our mind. So we clean out the garbage. But these words also have a deeper meaning. You could chant these words in Sanskrit, for example, and you have a very powerful sound vibration. Yeah, love has, I don't know, 20 or 30 meanings in Sanskrit. One famous meaning is prema. Yeah? Love, prema or bhava. Ecstasy, spiritual ecstasy, the highest form of love. So you could chant it in a different language. So we're going to chant this mantra in English. I'm sorry. Each of these phrases have a certain potency. I'm sorry. I'm humble. I really know I did something wrong. I commit my mistakes. I step out of the false ego. Who can say I'm sorry if you have a fight with a loved one, with a friend, with your boss? We are so caught up in our egos to just say a simple apology. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I did something wrong. Please forgive me. This mantra is about reconciliation and forgiveness. Thank you. To be grateful. Whatever you send out, you get back. If you're grateful, you get more things in life you're grateful for. Count your blessings. Connect with gratitude. And I love you. I love you is the highest frequency. Of course, we just say it. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, I love you. I love you. But if you really mean it, say it from your heart, not just from your lips and hear with your ears. Open your heart. I love you. This is the formula of manifestation. This is the recipe of God. Because everything is ruled by fear. But love is such a powerful potency. I'm not talking about mundane love. Oh, let's get married. Let's have sex. Let's enjoy life. No. Like a mother loves her children all the time, always taking care, always thinking of their well-being, always serving them. To love means to serve. So when we say I love you, really open yourself up for divinity. So by repeating these phrases, by repeating the mantras, we deliver our mind 
we reprogram ourselves, we purify ourselves from so many wrong habits and beliefs, we learn to forgive ourselves, we learn to ask for forgiveness, especially the divine to ask God for forgiveness. We did so many things in this lifetime already and there's so many lifetimes before where we act in a wrong way. What means act in a wrong way? It means we acted against the law of nature, against the desire of God. And we turn away from him. You, you don't exist. I want to enjoy. I'm the controller. I'm the center of the universe. Yeah, so please forgive me. I didn't know better. But now, please, thank you. God is so merciful. Always. He always forgives us. And we should be grateful for in the moment, in the now. There's no past. There's no future. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. So I would say Ho'oponopono is a mantra meditation. The words are not Sanskrit. You can chant them in Portuguese, in Spanish, in German, in English. It doesn't really matter. Connect with the meaning. And even you just take one word. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You focus your mind on this one word. Already you get purified because the mind is concentrated, the mind is focused. In yoga philosophy, we call this dharana, concentration. The further progress would be dhyana, meditation. Meditation is not where you have to concentrate anymore. It will happen naturally. So we should come to this point. But we have to start somewhere, right? So try out Ho'oponopono. I released a few videos, 15 minutes, one hour practice, whole night. You can just play the tape. It goes really deep. I made so many wonderful experiences with it. Please have a look, check it out, share it with your friends and let me know your experience. How did it change your life? Ho'oponopono Pono Mantra Meditation. Thanks for watching. Namaste.